हेलो चिल्ड्रेन आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस क्लास ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स दिस इज द सेकेंड क्लास ऑफ कॉर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द वेरी बेसिक आइडियाज ऑफ कॉर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री सच एज एक्सेस कार्टिसियन सिस्टम क्वाड्रेंट्स डिस्टेंस ऑफ ए पॉइंट फ्रॉम द एक्सेस एंड कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ ए पॉइंट लेट एस क्विकली रिकॉल this thing now students you may see if we take the face of this white board as the cartesian plane then you may see that this is the x axis this horizontal line is the x axis this vertical line is the y axis and they have intersected at the point o and we are taking this point as origin and this two lines those are called the cartesian axis they divided the whole plane into four regions these are called first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant and you know that that all the things in the first quadrants are positive and in this way in the last class we have learned that if a point is given on the plane then how can we find the distance of this point from x axis and the distance of the point from y axis now today let us start this class with some quick exercise tell me quadrant axis in which you find these points 9 comma minus 3 in which quadrant this point exist obviously you may say that the x component is positive and y component is negative so therefore it is fourth quadrant similarly minus 5 4.5 and minus 5.1 this is fourth quadrant and 0 8 this is positive y axis 3 comma minus 7.5 this is fourth quadrant and 0.2 comma 5.1 both are positive therefore this is first quadrant and 0 comma minus 20 as the x component is zero so this is lying on the negative y axis now so today we are going to discuss about that if the coordinate is given then how can we plot that point so in the last class we have discussed that if a point is given on the cartesian plane then how can we say the coordinate of that point now reversely we have to go discuss that if the coordinates are given how can we plot these points so let us take 2 comma 3 if we take 2 comma 3 so you know this point so if we want to plot this point how can we plot that means we have to go two units along x axis that means one unit then two units then we have to go three units along y axis so if we go three units along y axis then its position is this therefore if we take p as the this point then the coordinate of this point is 2 comma 3 or p is the point which represent 2 comma 3 now if we plot another point 0 comma 3 if we want to plot the point 0 comma 3 so this is lying on the x axis that means this is x component is 0 that is y component is 3 so if we take this is as q then this point is 0 comma 3 so in this way if 
the coordinates are given very easily we can plot this point. Now let us start a problem. Plot the points P 1 comma 1, Q 5 comma 1, S 1 comma 5. Find the coordinates of a point R such that P Q R S forms a square. So we want to plot the point P Q S first. Then we have to find out a particular point R such that P Q R S will form a square. Let us see how can we do it. So you may see this is the Cartesian plane together with two perpendicular axis. One is x axis, another is y axis. So first we have to plot the point P. The coordinates of the point P are 1 comma 1. That means to plot the point P we have to go one unit along x axis and one unit along y axis. So therefore the point P represent this way. Again we have to plot the point Q in the same way. The coordinates of Q are 5 comma 1. Therefore we have to go 5 units along x axis and 1 unit along y axis and this is Q and about the S this is 1 comma 5 therefore it that represent we have to go 1 unit along x axis then 5 unit along y axis. So this is S. Now we have to search the point S sorry that we have to search the point R because P, Q, S are given. Now if you observe this that what is the length of P, Q? You may see that the length of P, Q that means that is the distance is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 units. Same way the distance between P and S is 4 units. That means we have to take a point Q such that that all they will form a square. Now if we take the point R here then you may see that they will form a square. Now if we join all these vertices with a straight line then we will get P Q R S and if you observe this then it is producing a square and the length of the each side of this square is 5 units. And what is the coordinates of the point R? Now you may easily find out that what is the coordinates of R. The coordinates of R are 5 comma 5. Now it is clear to you that 3 comma 0 and 0 comma 3 are not at the same position. So 3 comma 0 and 0 comma 3 are at different positions. Same way you may see that 4 comma 2 and 2 comma 4 are also at different positions. So in this way by taking several such examples we can say that if x is not equal to y then the position of yx will differ from the position of xy. So if y is different from x then yx is not equal with xy. Therefore xy is called an ordered pair. For this reason xy we say that is an ordered pair. So the order of x and y is very much important here. 
children if you were given a point on the coordinates plane then can you find out the coordinates of the reflection of the point about any of the axis so if i give you a point any point can you find the reflection of that point with respect to x axis or with respect to y axis let us think so already some points are there in our board so if the point is 2 comma 3 if i ask you that what would be the reflection of 2 comma 3 about y axis so how can we do that so first we have to plot the point 2 comma 3 that is lying on the first quadrant now if we keep one mirror on the y axis then what would be the mirror image of this point by the laws of reflection which you have learnt in physics you know that the image of this point will be formed at an equal distance behind the mirror so therefore if you consider the mirror to be on the y axis then the image will be formed at that is the equal distance from y axis so distance of the point p and this is the image of p dash therefore the distance of the point p from y axis is equal with the distance of the point p dash from y axis then p dash is the image of the point 2 comma 3 and the coordinate of p dash r you may easily find out that we are going two units along negative x axis and three units along positive y axis therefore the coordinates of p dash r minus 2 comma 3 so student can you tell the reflection of the same point about x axis let's see so the point p the distance of this point from x axis would be same from the reflected image of the point p from the x axis so therefore if we the point would be this now you may easily find out the coordinates of the point q to find out the coordinates of the q you see we have to go two units along positive direction of x axis and three units along the negative direction of the y axis therefore the coordinates of the q are 2 comma minus 3 so in this way we can find the reflection of any point with respect to x axis or y axis now let us solve uh, another problem now try to find out the reflected image of this figure by finding out the reflection of each of the vertices about y axis and then give them a figure so abc is the figure we want to find out the image of this figure with respect to y axis first to get the reflected image of this figure we have to find out first the reflection of all the three vertices with respect to y axis that means we need the coordinates of the points a comma b comma c then so the coordinates of the point a are 1 comma 1 the coordinates of b are 6 comma 2 and the coordinates of c 
are 2 comma 4. So first we have to find out what are the images of A, B and C with respect to the y axis. So that you can find out the image of A is P minus 1 comma 1. The image of B is minus 6 comma 2 and the image of C is R. Then the coordinates of R is minus 2 comma 4. Now if we join these points PR, RQ and QP, we will get this triangle. And this triangle represents the image of the triangle ABC with respect to y axis. Therefore, we can say that the image of ABC with respect to y axis is the triangle PRQ. Now, I may give you one more assignment. So, before giving to this assignment, uh, I may ask you that uh, what would be the image of this triangle ABC with respect to x axis. Just now, we find the image of ABC with respect to y axis. Now, it would be your assignment that to find out the image of the triangle ABC with respect to x axis. I think the students, you can easily do it. Okay, students, uh, let us uh, solve another problem. If we take the coordinates of any point P as 2 comma 0 and the another point Q as 4 comma 0. Now if I ask you to take another point R such that PQR will represent a right triangle. Then what you have to do? So therefore, you may see, try to understand the question first. The question is, P and Q are two points are already given. These two points are P, the coordinates of the P are 2 comma 0 and the coordinates of the Q are 4 comma 0. We have to find out another point R such that PQR will form a right triangle. To get this, first we have to plot the points P and Q. So these are very simple. That is, this is lying on the x axis, both the points. So if we take this, this is P. So we may take this is P and 4 comma 0. This is the point 4 comma 0. We may take Q. Now student you may say, so this will be one side of the triangle. Now we have to take another point R. So how can we take the R? Will you give a unique point? Try to understand. So to form a right triangle from here, several options we have. So first option we may think we may take R as this point. The coordinates of R are 4 comma 2. If you take R as this point, then you can easily say, see that if we complete this diagram, then we are getting a right triangle. But it is very much clear to you that this R is not unique. Instead of this R, you may take any one point on this line. If you take this line, then you may take any point on this line. If you take R as this, 
instead of this if you take r is equal to what is the coordinates of this point r 4 comma 4 then also we will get if we may erase this and if we join this by a line then also we will get a right triangle. Not only that, we may extend this line in the negative direction also. So, instead of taking the first quadrant, if we take the point R on the fourth quadrant, then also we will get the our desired result. So, anything you may take, we may take here this is as R. So, if we join this, then again this is a right triangle. So, the coordinates of the point R are 4 comma minus 5. So, that means any points on this line will serve our purpose. So, now I would like to ask another questions upon this. Is there any other possibilities? So, if we choose R only on this line or any other possibilities are there? Yes, you are thinking in a right way that if we choose R instead of these things, if we choose If we choose R here also, that means earlier we make angle Q as the 90 degree. Now we may make angle P as 90 degree. That means if we take R as 2 comma 3, R as 2 comma 3, then also if we join this thing, then also we will get a triangle that is right triangle and the triangle is PQR. Therefore, if you take any point along this line, we will get a right triangle. So, here the point R is not unique. We may get several points R, rather we are getting here infinite number of values of r. So, if I, if in the questions it has been asked that take any point r, so among all these points, you may take any one of these and you may say that this is r and our triangle p q r is a right triangle. Now, let us give you another assignment that is solve these questions. From this figure, write the following. Number 1, coordinates of B, C and E. You look this diagram. This is the Cartesian plane together with two axes, that is x axis and y axis. Second is the point identified by the coordinates 0, comma, minus 2. Number 3, the abscess of the point H, the and number 4, the ordinate of the point D. So, these are the four questions here. Now, first questions we may solve that uh, coordinates of B, C and E. So, to find out the coordinates of B, we have to observe that we have to how much unit we have to go along x axis that would be in which directions and along y units. So, these two things are important that how much units we have to go along x axis and along y axis and what are the directions that is positive direction of x axis or 
negative direction of x-axis or in the case of y-axis we have to go along the positive direction of y-axis or negative direction of y-axis. Now to find out the coordinates of the point B you see that it is very much clear from this Cartesian plane that we have to go two units along x-axis obviously the positive direction of the x-axis and simultaneously we have to go two units along y-axis and the direction of the y-axis is negative here. Therefore, the coordinates of the point B are 2 comma minus 2. So, one more thing C is there. What is the coordinates of the point C? To get the coordinates of the C, you see that we have to go 4 units along negative y axis, then 1 unit along positive x axis. Therefore, the coordinates of the point C are minus 4 comma 1. So, in the same manner you can find the coordinates of the point E also. Now, rest, rest of the things that would be assigned to you and I think you can able to do it. So, that is the total thing of the coordinate geometry. Now, we may conclude this class. Thanks to all of you.